Warning, this video is not made for kids. If you are under the age of 13, please turn this video off now. Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. Now today I'd like to showcase for you a raid guide for Eden's Gate Descent in the MMORPG known as Final Fantasy XIV. Now this is a level 80 raid that was introduced in the Shadowbringers expansion and today we'll be showcasing it in the tank point of view. Now before we begin I must point out that there is no border to the battlefield so any player that moves beyond the arena will fall off and get KO'd. Doom Guillotine is a line AoE. All players should move outside of the red AoE indicator to avoid taking damage. When a line of rifts will open, untargetable mobs will spawn from the rifts. They will then proceed to move in the direction that they're facing. Any player that touches a mob will take damage. So in order to avoid taking damage, simply stand behind them or avoid being in their movement path. Doom Void Slicer is a donut AoE. All players should move underneath the boss to avoid taking damage. Eventually new rifts will spawn in a diagonal pattern. Four mobs will spawn out of these portals and they will move toward the boss. All players need to make sure that they are not within the flight path between the mobs and the boss to avoid taking damage. Shadow Flame is a multi-target tank buster. Both tanks should use defensive cooldowns to mitigate as much damage as possible. Darkfire is a circular AoE that will target four players. These four players need to spread out to the edges of the battlefield and try not to overlap over other players. Unholy Darkness will target one player with a stack AoE. All available players group together on top of the targeted player to disperse the damage. Spell and Waiting is a mechanic that adds a timer indicator to attack which will delay the execution of said attack. This has multiple phases. The first phase will add a circular clock above the targeted player's head. After a short duration, this clock will then turn into a dice indicator. At this point, it will tick down from 5 down to 1. When the dice hits 0, the attack will go off. Please take note that there are times when the boss will overlap Spell in Waiting Unholy Darkness as well as Dark Fire 3. When this happens, both attacks will detonate simultaneously. So the four players targeted by Dark Fire 3 need to spread out and make sure they don't overlap their circles with any other players, while at the same time, the remaining players need to group up on top of the player targeted by Unholy Darkness in order to spread out the damage as much as possible. Entropy is a raid-wide AoE. Healers AoE heal as necessary. The Hand of Erebos is a directional knockback. All players need to move to the map edge where the Hand of Erebos is spawned. For those who cannot see that hand, the yellow arrows will indicate the direction of the knockback. The knockback distance is actually quite large, so you want to make sure you get your avatar as close to the edge as possible without walking off the battlefield. Eventually, five circle zones will appear on the map. Each one of these circles needs to have a player in them before the falling circle hits the battlefield. For every circle that does not have a player on it, a large amount of damage will hit the whole raid.
Shadow Eye is a visual debilitating AoE. Any player that looks at the target with the Shadow Eye will become petrified. In order to avoid this, all players should make sure to face their character away from the target that has the Shadow Eye marker. Please take note that the target who actually has the Shadow Eye marker above them should run to the north end of the map behind all the other players. Also take note that if you're the main tank, turn your character around facing south to make sure that you do not get hit by the attack. This attack is especially dangerous for the tank due to the fact that the, the boss is quite tall and can obscure a large portion of your field of vision. From this point on, the boss will cycle attack previously, so you keep in mind many attacks will overlap. Also, please take note of the spells that are loaded into the spell and waiting queue. While it may be overwhelming at first, try to make sure that you take note of which players have Dark Fire 3 target markers on them. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. 
uh, hit that subscribe and ring that bell uh, for notifications on future videos that I might be posting. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.